Earlier I showed you how to set up your mp3 player and you can choose either standard or iPod shuffle but the device I'm going to hook up today is actually my cell phone which doesn't really work with standard or iPod shuffle and so I'm going to show you how to add a new device to this drop down so if we go into settings Well, first let me show you how my mp3 player does work, or my phone, that is. So this is uh, taking a look at my phone's memory card here in Windows. All the songs need to go into this folder called My MP3. And I kind of want them like this, where it just has the song title without the track number. So I'll go back into Settings and click mp3 player types and we're going to create a new one so we'll just start typing over here, we'll call this uh, Verizon Phone and the root folder which we learned was uh, my underscore mp3 for my phone I do not want to create a subfolder for each artist but if I did I could check that and then I would also be able to check to create a subfolder for each album. I don't think there's a limit to the file name size, or if there is, I haven't found it, so I'll just leave that empty for now. In the file naming, I'll use title only. And as for the ID3 tags, I do not want to include the track number in the ID3 tag. So I'll add that, and then we have Verizon Phone on our list of custom devices. Click OK to save it. Go back to manage devices. Add a drive letter. In this case it's actually H. And Verizon phone. And we already see the two songs here. So if I add another one, oh, I'll just pick anything. And then sync it. and then go back and here it is so my phone should recognize it I don't want to always use my phone sometimes I have a standard cell phone or a mp3 player so I'm going to keep these both on the list but the um, way it's going to know which devices which type, like if I plug in my cell phone, how does it know to treat that like a, a cell phone? Isn't really determined by the drive letter because that could change. And the way it does that is, is it tags the device. So if we go back into the root folder, we see a little file right here. If we open that notepad, it just says Verizon phone. So that just tells it, look for a setting called Verizon phone and that's how you want to treat this particular device.